Good morning, it's Charlie uh, from Partick Hill Station. Today we are at Hobby Lobby in Clearwater, Florida. And we're going to go in and see what kind of bargains we can find. Now, what a warning. Uh, of course, US dollars in here. And for me coming down from Toronto, uh, there's a 40 cent on the dollar exchange rate. So things are pretty expensive. I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, it's uh, a little bit cool here today. Yeah, so it's about 15 degrees here. It was 25 yesterday. Uh, January's pretty unpredictable, but let's go in and see what we can find. Well, here's the first uh, interesting little bargain. This is a battery tester for 5.99. It takes 1.5 and 9 volt batteries. That came in pretty handy. And they've got a range of Well, they've got a range of model colour acrylic paints. They are three ninety nine each. Now here's a great bargain uh, for one hundred and thirty dollars. That's Backman. Uh, back in America and you get an 060 uh, steam locomotive and slope back tender and two box cars and a caboose with a 24 inch circle end scale with some expansions uh, outlined in the back and it's the EZ track system. That's a great introductory uh, train set for a young lad. And there's the HO uh, set BNSF, a GP40 with two box cars, a caboose, and a CN open uh, wagon and it comes complete with all those bits and pieces there for a hundred and eighty dollars that's a pretty good deal now this is a set that I purchased the last time I was here twenty dollars and there's the power supply at twenty dollars. But I was able to find um, an alternative for much less than uh, twenty twenty dollars. And here's an interesting add-on or accessory to this set here. It's LED stick-on lights. You get two lights and 24 inch cables. And there's the three pack lights uh, for this system for $1.99. And get another one of those and there's a great uh, selection of plants bushes flock and trees and there's a good deal oh, there's an even better deal eight dollars for for those four trees or you can buy these deciduous trees for eleven dollars. Quite a variety, and there's some nice bushes for nine dollars, but I can make them for literally nothing.
eight dollars for haystacks. And a selection of uh, polystyrene evergreen scale models for three forty nine. That's not a bad price. And you should always keep an eye out for these weights. They, they are a great uh, addition for any model railway um, to apply to your locomotive to increase the traction. And there's a nice little starter kit for school project for $15. You can do a little diorama. That's a great idea. Now there's a good deal on a roll of cork for three seventy nine. Twelve by twenty four. You could cut a number of uh, track strips from that. That's a great deal. Uh, if you want to do your own weathering, uh, here's a good deal for eighteen dollars for pastel crayons, which you can scrape off into powder. There's a great selection of uh, sponges that you can use. Natural sponges too. Um, if you're doing weathering, these would come in extremely handy. And three ninety nine is a good deal. Here's another good deal. Um, if you can stick it in your case. Uh, Eight dollars for plaster cloth. And you get eight inch wide by th three point seven five yards of it, which is pretty good. And there's a larger one for eleven dollars. Uh, 12 by 8, 20 sheets. Thank you. 
Everybody's busy today. And uh, this is the, or one of the weathering packages that I bought previously. $10, that's a good deal. So if you're here on vacation, this is another item that you'd maybe like to put into your bag.
here's another great product. $15. This foam block in green. I can imagine you would use this in a number of locations. These come in various shapes and sizes. Now you can always use Mod Podge, but it's not really that cheap. It's like nine dollars. There's one for seven. They're pretty big. Well, I'm in Barnes and Noble in Clearwater and here's a nice surprise, some reading material. Well, this is all I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they had a variety of things, but I really didn't need uh, any of them. And... Uh, I thought, well, I'll get this one. This, I can always use this. But Hobby Lobby, not to be missed when visiting the US. Bring an empty suitcase. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me the big thumbs up. And we'll catch you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.